Welcome to this video which is an update of previous tutorials on how to solve this AppShow setup utility for Asus computers. I'll begin by stating the things you will need for this procedure. And the first one is a different computer from your Asus computer that is destroyed, a flash disk that is 8 GB or higher and reliable internet connection. The internet is for downloading these 13 files that you require for this procedure but that is a discussion for later in the tutorial. I'll also take this opportunity to apologize for the video quality. It's not really the best but it is bearable. So let's dive right in. All of our computers operate on operating systems like Windows and if this OS crashes you get an interface that you really cannot understand for Asus computers it is the blue screen of death which is the AppShow setup utility for HP computers it's a black screen that looks like this yeah it's just your operating system that has crashed it's nothing to really be worried about it is no cause of concern because it is fixable and that is what we will be doing in this video I really don't know the computer you are dealing with currently but you may have a slightly different menu from mine because my version is American Megatrends 2015 from the title as you can see and your menu may be slightly different now this is no cause of concern just skip this part of the tutorial and for you who has the same menu as mine I'll be doing an excerpt I'll extract a segment from one of my previous tutorials that should guide you to exactly where I need you to be which is step two of I don't know, let me check it here it is so if your menu is different from mine you skip this part of the tutorial option setup utility scroll to the right to security option then the lowest option is the secure boot menu click on it then the secure boot control should be disabled if yours is enabled, disable it. Then go ahead and press escape for back. Then after that, go to the boot menu. Then look for the launch CSM on this menu. There it is. It shouldn't be disabled. It should be enabled for this process. So I'm going to enable mine like that. Then uh, no other changes. Just go to the save and exit and uh, yeah you need to save configuration and exit like that your computer will restart and it should go to a black screen like that reboot and select proper boot device that is exactly what we are going to do or insert boot media which is our flash disk welcome to the next step of this procedure and in this step you require 13 files that I will provide you with as soon as you make a tiny little purchase via the link in the description just check it out it's nothing expensive now after I personally send you the link and you make the download the 13 files need to be transferred into the flash disk that we discussed earlier and they need to stand alone there needs to be no other files besides the 13 inside this flash disk now I know you're looking at this laptop and thinking that uh, he has a HP and I have an Asus problem or, or something like that. Honestly, I, I lost my Asus computer a few years back. It was stolen from me and it's not that I will, I will not be using this computer for this uh, tutorial. Uh, I'll be extracting um, footages from my previous tutorial so you will bear with the video quality. I'm, I'm sorry for that. but. The procedure shall be well captured and in the end I will say a little something about HP laptops okay that's enough yapping back to business now the flash disk should be plugged into the computer the one that has 13 files and then after that you restart the computer and that means you hold down the power key until the computer switches off and then back on Yeah, but I'm just overlaying my voice over an, an, a previous video I just 
just split the video and now I'm using part of the footage. Now as you can see there's a chain of circles going in cycles. Yeah. Uh, that is normally a good sign. That means your computer will not go into the blue screen. Okay, yeah. It sort of goes into a blue screen but it is the windows provided by the 13 files inside the flash disk. Yeah. And it's pretty self-explanatory from now. Just click on install now, uh, whatever the, it will tell you. The next, it leads you to an option panel. It gives you several options of operating systems to select from. I suggest you select a pre-activated one. Uh, for some reason in this tutorial, I used one that is not activated and then I clicked next. Uh, you have to be a bit patient. Uh, nobody reads terms and conditions, just accept them blindly. You just want your, your computer fixed, right? Just accept them. In the next page, they ask you if you want to upgrade or do a custom install. You need a fresh installation. And installations are normally done on hard disks. So currently I did not partition my hard disk, meaning I will lose all the data. You need to partition your disk, by the way. Now some of you may already have partitioned disks, and that will appear as so many options in this window. Let me just get an example, like this. And it is normally hard to know which of the following is disk C. So try one with type primary. That is mostly the, the one that is going to be disk C. But if it is not, your computer will automatically decline the installation. So you'll just have to restart the procedure. But if you find it, yeah, it will it will accept. And if, if it is currently loaded with your data, your files, your movies and everything, you have to format that disk and that is why it is not advisable to keep files in disk C. So if you find the, the correct one just press next and the installation will begin. From here it is just downhill, 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 downhill. So let me just shut up for a moment. Now once everything is done, your computer will restart several times. Uh, you should not expect it to restart like mine. It may restart more or a few times or even just one time. But yeah, you are on the right path as, as soon as you see a chain of circles going in cycles. A chain of... yeah, I think I said it right. A chain of circles going in cycles and some wordings below it. Yeah, you need a lot of patience for this. You will wait and wait and wait, but be be assured that you are on the right path. Now once all this is done, I'm sure you can, you're now familiar with the next window, which is these things appeared the first time you, you, you turned on your computer, when it was fresh from the store, when you purchased it. It, it is the setup for Cortana and maybe your passwords and everything. This is a very familiar window and I do not expect anyone to have problems here. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it, it's also advisable that you are connected to the internet at this moment, just to ensure a, a proper setup. And just like that, you have your computer back. Now take good care of it. Don't 
destroy the operating system. Um, you must have destroyed it without knowing. Uh, just stick around to this channel. I will teach you how to maintain your computer so that uh, such issues can be avoided. Now, I promised you I'll be talking about HP laptops at the end of this video. And what I want to say is you need to get yourself uh, an elite book. An elite book HP, the one that is about Core, uh, Core i5, the processor and a RAM of 4 GB. That computer is a beast. It It crashes and restarts. It never dies. It doesn't die really. It's not like an Asus computer where you have to fix it all the time. As you can see, a chain of cycles going in cycles. Yeah, It, it fixed it itself. I, I did not even need to install anything. I just gave it time and restarted it. 